In today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best photo printers in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these photo printers, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button, and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Canon Selfie CP1200. The Canon Selfie CP1200 is the best photo printer for those that are always on the move, as it can provide high-quality borderless photos with 4x6 inch dimensions at its max. Other than that, it offers tons of connectivity options, as you can print from your PC, your mobile devices, or from a USB stick drive or memory card, and there's also an LCD display and a control panel that you can use for standalone operation. Plus, with a battery add-on that can be bought separately, you can operate without being connected to a power source for a true portable experience. The Canon Selfie CP1200 measures at 7.1 by 5.4 by 2.5 inches. When it's not turned on, you can easily pack it in your backpack. The dry weight to the machine is less than two pounds. Of course, the weight will add up a little considering you have to pack paper, ink cartridge, and a power adapter. The paper tray has a capacity of 18 sheets of paper, and the hinged lid of the tray is used as the paper output tray. The battery is a nice addition, and I think it'll prove useful thanks to its 54-print battery life, and it takes just four hours to fully charge it. The 2.7-inch color LCD display can tilt up to 45 degrees. Because of its portable nature, setup of the device was a breeze. Just turn the device on, insert paper into the tray, and attach the ink cassette. And there's also a mini USB port included for connecting the printer to a computer, and you can easily connect it to your Wi-Fi network. The Canon Selfie CP1200 uses dye sublimation thermal transfer technology that completes four passes on each and every print. This happens because every color needs a separate pass, and the final pass is made for protective coating. However, this makes the printer not the fastest around, as it takes around 50 seconds to print a single photo. The print quality is over the top for a portable printer with 300 by 300 DPI with 256 levels of color. It was amazing, with tons of detail. It's recommended for a traveling photographer that needs to print on the go. At number four is the Epson Expression Photo XP8500. For those that want a more affordable option, but don't want to compromise print quality and speed, as well as wireless connectivity, the Epson Expression Photo XP8500 is the perfect buy. This is one of the best printers, and it can be categorized even as an all-in-one printer, as it can act even as a copier and scanner. The whole package is designed and built with the exceptional Epson quality that is one of the leaders in the printing industry. This printer has a very small footprint, it measures just 13.7 by 13.4 by 5.6 inches, and it has a very light weight at just 14.8 pounds. That means you can single-handedly transfer it from room to room, and you can find various places to set it up on your desk. Of course, you have to take into consideration the paper output tray that opens up. In this device, you can only find two buttons, the home button and the power button. The home button can be a little confusing in the beginning, as it takes you to the options list, which is then displayed on the small display on the front of the device. But after just a little tinkering and some test prints, you'll get the hang of it. You can load the printer in three methods. The first option is via the upper cassette that takes only photo paper with 16x9 format up to 5x7 inches. The lower cassette takes the copy paper, presentation paper and legal sized paper, and the rear cassette that can take a large variety of paper types and sizes. When you first start printing and you insert the paper into the tray, there will be some prompts and instructions as to how to get the best and most adequate print. When printing documents, it achieved a speed of 9 pages per minute, and it can also act as a duplexer at a lower speed of 4.6 pages per minute. Pretty good for a photo printer. In draft mode, it can print photos in just 10 seconds, but for the best quality, you'll have to sacrifice some speed. The picture quality was awesome with plenty of detail and amazing color truly one of the best budget photo printers from Epson. At number three, it's the Epson Shorecolor P600. The Epson Shorecolor P600 is a perfect mid-range printer that has great uses that are appropriate for both beginners and professionals. Despite its mid-range price, enthusiasts will be pleased with the high-end photo printing of the Epson Shorecolor P600 that can print on papers as large as the A3 Plus format. This printer is a special tool that's an expert in printing photos, and it can also print sharp texts, but it cannot act as a scanner or copier. 
Because of its ability to print at large formats at the best quality, the Epson Shawcolor P600 has a large footprint that occupies a lot of space on your desk, so you have to plan accordingly before buying. The build quality on this product is very sturdy and every tray opens and closes completely without any wiggle. When turned off and when all the trays are closed, the Epson Shawcolor P600 has a nice and clean design that look good on your desk. The controls on the device are very scarce, it only has a large home button, a power button and a back button that's complementary to the 2.7 inch touchscreen display, this also improves the streamlined look of the printer. The biggest selling point of this printer is its print quality, and it provides prints with a resolution of 5760 dpi, one of the best in the market. In about two and a half minutes it can print out a huge A3+, but for finer, more detailed, high quality prints it takes about five minutes give or take for a print. Besides the A3 Plus format, it can print out a wide range of formats, and you can print CD or DVD labels on top of that with ease. With the appropriate photo paper with Epson Shawcolor P600, thanks to its nine color cartridges, it'll produce the best results that are possible for a non-commercial setting. It has great color gradations that are also vibrant, and if monochrome prints are your thing, four black inks will provide very neutral mono images with great shadow and highlight detail. The Epson Shawcolor P600 is a great printer for a photo enthusiast that has a relaxed budget or for smaller studios. At number two is the Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000. The Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000 may not be the best choice for home enthusiasts or for studios that want to save up their costs. The printer is intended for professional use, it has a premium price point, and each of the 11 inks have a very high cost and don't last very long. Also, the premium paper for these kinds of prints costs a lot. But if you want the very best print quality, the Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000 impresses with its output detail, colour, sharpness, saturation and highlights, and it's the absolute best. It's a very large device right out of the box with 11.2 by 17 by 28.5 inches and weighs a hefty 70.5 pounds, so you'll need adequate space for it to operate. But it has a nice design overall and will look good on the printing desk. I like the exceptionally smooth and clean design that's appropriate for studios. Connectivity-wise, it offers Ethernet, Wi-Fi and USB connections, but if you're used to it, you'll miss the Wi-Fi Direct and the near-field communication for routerless peer-to-peer -peer connectivity for smartphones. However, Canon has included the wireless picked bridge feature in this printer for printing directly from a digital camera. To get the premium quality prints, the Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000 utilizes 11 ink colors and a chroma optimizer that's applied over the ink in the end to seal the detail and color. The print resolution can go up to 4800 by 2400 dpi, and it achieves this resolution thanks to the Canon's fine technology that uses microscopic droplets while printing. As stated before, the photo print quality is excellent, but will also depend on the quality of the photo that you want to print. As long as it is at an adequate level, the prints will be excellent and will look premium, simply the best. Also on top of that, it'll print high quality photos in a flash. It can support a wide range of paper sizes and formats, and it'll print with amazing quality in each and every one of them. There's no paper roll holder supports though, which may bother some photographers. At a premium asking price with equally high running costs, the Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000 will provide the best photo quality that you can find. And at number one, it's the Canon Pixma Pro 100. The Canon Pixma Pro 100 is a great professional inkjet printer that has entry-level pricing for photo printing, making it a good option for home use. It's designed with photo printing in mind and it can easily print documents as well, but if you're a photography enthusiast, the Canon Pixma Pro 100 will be perfect for your home studio or office. The Canon Pixma Pro 100 comes at a huge size with a large footprint and it has a weight of 43.2 pounds. So consider this before buying so that you're not surprised if you have no space on your desk. Canon has built this printer with the best materials as is apparent on its build quality and you won't have to worry about its durability and sturdiness. It has a square design except for its rounded corners and when not in use the paper tray folds up nicely to offer a sharper and cleaner look. There are only three buttons located on the printer, the power button, a paper feed button and the dedicated button for WPS wireless connection, but you cannot monitor the ink levels unfortunately. Everything about the design of this printer is of premium quality. 
Despite being a professional photo printer, it has a hassle-free setup and it provides everything about the installation in the package. There is an instruction manual as to how to set it up and how to use it that's very comprehensible. The print quality on the Canon PIXMA Pro 100 is great overall. It's mainly designed for photo printing, but if the need arises for you to print out documents, the text and graphics will look very good, with various charts and graphics looking sharp. But when it comes to its main purpose, the Canon PIXMA Pro 100 was amazing. After some calibration and using the appropriate software and the Canon Pro Luster photo paper, I tested the printer and it printed borderless 8.5 by 11 inch prints with fantastic quality. If you're a photographer, I don't need to tell you, but printing photos requires some calibration in the software to bring out the results as they are on the screen. The Canon PIXMA Pro 100 is the absolute best printer when it comes to photo printing. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.